1,100%. That is the current increase in border encounters in just one Arizona sector, with sources telling Fox News those encounters could be even higher. The astonishing surge coming as the Biden administration prepares to end major border policy, Title 42. But our next guest has a plan to stop the White House in its tracks. Arizona's Attorney General and U.S. Senate candidate Mark Bronovich joins us now. Good morning, Mark. Thank you, Ainsley, for having me on. Thanks for coming on. I know you wanted to come on this morning to announce your plan. What is your plan to stop this from happening? Well, we just filed a lawsuit. We are filing another lawsuit against the Biden administration. And basically, we know that their attempt to rescind Title 42 will lead to drastic um, consequences on our southern border. And right now, it's essentially on fire. And this is, will be like throwing gasoline on a fire. So we want to stop the Biden administration from rescinding Title 42 because it may be one of the most boneheaded decisions of this administration. And they have done a lot of dumb things. But you will have to find a, a federal judge who agrees with with you yes. and then I'm sure the White House yes. will appeal. What are the chances that you'll be successful? Well, I just argued just a little over a month ago against the Biden administration in court when they rescinded the public charge rule, and I'm confident we'll win that case, and I'm confident we'll win this case because literally, if the Biden administration rescinds this policy, it will result in more than half a million people, it's estimated, to illegally cross our border in just one month. That's like the entire population of Baltimore, Atlanta, Georgia. So the system is already being overwhelmed. The cartels have seized control of the border. We see a record amount of fentanyl coming into this country, and now you're going to throw on top of that hundreds of thousands of people millions of people just stretching thin our social and safety network and endangering our community so Ainsley I'm doing everything I can to hold the Biden administration accountable and stop them from destroying our southern border you know it's it's what infuriates people is this was put into place because of COVID-19 and now you're seeing this is lifted for illegal immigrants yet we still have school kids ages two to four that have to be wearing masks in New York City. Yeah, the, 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 the uh, fecklessness and the hypocrisy of the Biden administration and the progressive left has been on full display during these COVID lockdowns, where we have seen an attempt to centralize power in Washington, D.C. and undermine the rights of individuals. And when you look at what's going on in our southern border, that's where the government has an apex of its power. And they have a constitutional authority, they have a statutory authority to protect us, and they are not doing it. And so whether it's releasing criminals into our community, whether it's not deporting people with deportation orders, whether it's a failure to build the wall, we have filed lawsuits on all of those, and we've been successful. And now, rescinding Title 42, one of the last tools left in the toolbox that hasn't even overwhelmed us even more, uh, it is just so irresponsible and reckless and more Americans are going to die and more taxpayers are going to have to pay for, you know, everything from health care to education benefits, welfare benefits as the system gets overwhelmed. And so as our country struggles and a lot of middle class people like myself and our family, you know, struggled for to pay for groceries, to pay for gas, um, we have to sit there and ask ourselves, what is the Biden administration doing? Because they are truly undermining and destroying this country. Mr. Attorney General, thanks for coming on. Thank you. You're welcome. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.